Hey, what's up guys? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at another battle box. This is mission number 16, number 16. And the topic for this one is land navigation. Here's the full rundown of everything that comes in this box. I did get the Pro Plus box. It's gonna run you $150 per month for all this gear. Um, you can get it at 25, 50, 100, and then 150 as well. So since I got the Pro Plus box, you'll see everything that you could possibly get. Obviously, if you get uh, the subscriptions at a lower level, you're gonna get less gear. So let's get right into the box and check out what they have for us. Okay, let's open this thing up. Once again, everything's gonna be going along with the theme of land navigation. Got some binoculars, we'll look at those in a minute. Uh, I got a couple different compasses, one from Brunton, and that's just got your base plate and your compass, and then also some cord. So you can actually, uh, you know, put it around your neck, tie it to gear, whatever it is. So yeah, 1.1 ounces and the size is 2.5 inches by 3.5 by 0.5. So I actually think I saw this one at EMS the other day. So Brunton and then we have a, I believe it's called Sunto uh, compass. And I was noticing them before, they, did have, they do have some details on the back. So it says that basically six things, high grade steel needle with jewel bearing, number two, mirror for signaling or for sight bearings and signaling, number three, floating lightweight construction, number four, protractor with orienting lines for navigating with map, number five, liquid capsule for stable operation, number six, fixed declination correction scale. And then it also says there's a whistle for signaling built into that. So two compasses, uh, I don't, I mean, I have never been in a situation where I use two at the same time, but now you can give one away to a friend, you can put it in different packs, you know, put one in your EEC bag, one in your, your outdoor bag or a bug out bag, survival bag, something like that. So you got two of these compasses. Uh, Ranger beads, these are from, I think I heard, yeah, Wazoo Survival Gear actually provided these. And Ranger beads, these are do-it-yourself, so you can kind of set it up. I'll show you a cool little thing here. It's gonna be a little bit hard to see on the camera, so I'll zoom in and show you, but there's a little, like a little Spartan helmet right there as part of the uh, as part of the setup. So Ranger beads are going to be basically used for um, tracking your pacing, distance, amount of distance that you're traveling, things like that. So uh, yeah, so they give you the guide on how to actually how to actually do that. So it's kind of a little project, which I think is kind of cool. Um, just you know, so you can sit around probably you know watch a little TV, watch the latest episode of Alone on the History Channel, and put that together. Uh, survival land navigation produced with the survival summit with top all Britain and uh, if you're not familiar with the survival summit uh, it's a gathering I don't know if it happens once a year or twice a year but it's basically you know uh, survival stuff stuff to do with preparedness uh, in the past I know that uh, Jack over at Black Scout survival was uh, featured he did a DVD with them I think it was on escape and evasion maybe some urban survival stuff uh, Travis Haley has done stuff with them from Haley Strategic. He's very knowledgeable when it comes to firearms. So this is about land navigation. And it says, in this film you're going to learn manual land navigation, navigate without a GPS, how to read a compass, and a topographic map, and understand declination, all in participation with Top Al Britain. I think it's Al Britain. Al Britain, yep. So yeah, I like this because while I like reading books, uh, which I see there's a book right here, I like reading books. This is just kind of easier to do sometimes. Just pop in a DVD, watch it, pick up some knowledge as opposed to sitting down having to read a book. It takes a little bit more time and effort. Uh, U.S. Army Guide to Map Reading and Navigation. Have you ever seen any of these types of books at like an army surplus store? You know that there's lots of a fine print. This is just like, look how tiny that print is there. I wonder what font that is, like maybe four. It's just totally tiny, but anyhow, lots of information, a little bit cryptic in reading it. Um, this is the type of thing like I would want to sit with somebody and have them instruct me on what's being said in the textbook. Uh, but there is good info in these books if you actually take some time to dig through them. This is not the type of book I'm going to sit down and read from cover to cover, you know, in one sitting or when I'm going to bed one night. Uh, but it is, it's got information in it for you to kind of dig through or these types of guides, as I should say, have information for you to dig through and learn stuff in the process. Basic and primitive navigation. This is from the Pathfinder School. This is made of waterproof material. And so it's kind of an intro. They have a bunch of these types of pamphlets, but you can see we've got one, we've got two, four, six pages. So six pages on this side and on the back side, there's your cover and some other systems. So 10 total pages of information to basically give you an intro into, you know, how to uh, deal with land navigation when you are out in the woods. And cool, because you could throw this in a bushcraft bag or you know your camping pack and then get out there and actually you know work on some of these skills you don't have to have a huge guidebook this is going to give you some of the the basics on that so basically a primer i would call it in uh land navigation from the pathfinder school so that's cool 
What else do we have in here? Battle Box exclusive, fifteen dollars off. Orders forty five dollar or more, and that's getting uh, stuff from Wazoo Survival Go. They got all kinds of bracelets and things with paracord. Let's see what else we have here. Survival Made Simple, fifty percent off. Spot Gen Three Global Satellite GPS Messenger, and so that's, these are a bunch of just kind of ads that are put into the uh, into the stuff here. We'll look at that in a minute. This is cool, Stargazer Bandana. Basically, you can look at the constellations here and then compare them to what you're looking at in the sky. Cool thing is, this is glow in the dark, so as long as you get some light on this, you don't have to be shining a flashlight you know, into a book while you're looking at the stars. Made in the USA, 100% cotton, and it's from uh, Coulter, I believe it's Coulter, let me see. Coulter Co, C-O-L-T-E-R Co, USA dot com. So that's a cool thing. I actually have one like this that's got some first aid information on it, which is really cool. Just, you know, throw that in a pack and you got at least a little bit of uh, backup information when it comes to first aid. So that is cool. Let's see what's in here. Obviously, this is the first time I'm opening it because I have not seen what's in here. What else do we have? Oh, okay. So... Let me just try to locating coordinate grid information on a USGS or USGS map. So map tools, tools for working with UTM, MGRS, and USNG coordinates. So this is stuff above my pay grade, to be totally honest. Not totally familiar with it, but I will check it out. Um, so this is obviously, this is a coordinate scale and protractor. So things to learn how to navigate. Yeah, again, that's like way, way beyond me and my level, at least right now from how I'm looking at it. I know how to do topography and that type of stuff, but I'll have to learn a little bit more as I get into that. Let's take a look at these. We got some binoculars. So these are, how do you pronounce it? Barska, Barska, I believe, which I've actually owned a pair of their binoculars, a very small pair that I used to carry around in packs. So let's see if we can open this guy up and see what we think here. Pack nicely. Some basic information there. There's your box. It comes in a nice, a nice case. I'm assuming it's got like a, uh, yeah. There's a strap inside. There's your strap. There's another strap, I guess. There's a cloth to clean off the actual binoculars. These are definitely a decent size. Ten by forty-two. Uh, those are, those are looking pretty nice. So you got caps here, rubber caps that are attached, which is nice. Uh, the ones I grew up with that my dad had, you took them off and then you lost them. So nice that these are actually attached. Waterproof, oh, these are not. Spoke too soon. I wish those were attached. Maybe there's a lanyard or somewhere to attach them. But anyhow, uh, waterproof 10 by 42, 350 feet. 350 feet at 1,000 yards. That's what it says right there. I don't know if you can read that in between. So I'm in my studio upstairs in my house. So I'm not going to tell you how great they are as far as looking out a distance, but... Um, yeah, you got some binox right there. If you don't, you never own a pair of binoculars, this might be a good option for you. Let's get this out of the way. And last but not least, last but not least, let's show you our blade. This is the knife that comes with this, and this is the Sniper Bladeworks SOF Chopper. So it comes with this ballistic nylon sheath. When I first got it, I was like, um, is this thing going to actually be you know, useful because of how, it's, how it clasps on? This thing is very secure. Uh, Just with ballistic nylon, nylon sheath, it's, it's not even, I don't even think it's ballistic nylon. Maybe it is. It's, it's super lightweight. It's not something you know, massively uh, durable. It does have a little pocket there. But it's going to do the job. And uh, it's compact. I'm surprised this even fit in the, uh, in the box. Hook and loop there. Basically roll it out of the way like so. Take out the blade. I'll show you that in one second. Here's the other side of the ballistic nylon. Got a little loop there. Do have some cordage there, which I would actually use as a lanyard on the actual uh, on the actual blade. So when you look at this, push this out of the way. When you look at this, and you see the words El Salvador, what you're probably expecting on this side is for it to say Condor Tool and Knife. My gut is to say they probably got um, that. Was it from? It's from Sniper Blade Works. They probably got this produced at the same factory that makes uh, the Condor knives, which, you know, some people are like, oh my gosh, you're copycatting. No, it's just how the world works. Sometimes you get a factory that's going to produce lots of different knives for lots of different people. Uh, I'll give you an example CRKT's Hood Work Survival Knife, designed by Karen Hood. Um, that's actually produced over at the Tops um, factory, I believe. So, you know, it just happens. People partner up on different things. Kind of a cool little knife. It has, if you're familiar with Condor's 
uh, Warlock. I think it's called the Warlock. It's not called. Is it called the Warlock? Yeah, Warlock, because it's a big hefty chopper like this with kind of a squared off edge like that. This is kind of like a baby version of it. Definitely ergonomic. I've had this actually out of the package and holding it does feel quite ergonomic. Um, still manageable, you know, if you had this on the woods to do some detail work. The idea is that, you know, for land navigation, you're going to be chopping or hacking through stuff with this stuff. You got a little little belly there. This is squared off, so you could still pierce with something if you had to. That stuff that's probably about a quarter inch, looks like that, across the, uh, across the top. And then quarter inch, and then kind of thins out down toward the bottom. But yeah, I mean, I would hold in the, hold in the back here, run a lanyard through there, hold it back here. You definitely get some good chopping power with this thing. Um, this would be the type of thing where if you put it in the sheath and put it on a belt, it's not like it's totally, it's like a huge oversized beast of a uh, beast of a blade. It's going to definitely ride nicely on your belt, it looks like, and a little pouch here to throw something into. And um, again, this system, man, I, I had to pull, really, if I pulled really hard, I could probably get that to pop out, but it uh, looks like it's going to hold quite nicely. So that's your, your knife. If you get the Pro Plus, you're going to get this added in. This is the uh, Sniper Bladeworks SOF chopper. I did look around. I found this over at Blade HQ. That, so that's your uh, that's your knife for the land navigation box or mission from Battle Box. I'll show you a close up here in the light of the uh, chopper. So there's one side. There's the other. Kind of a cool thing. Kind of I mean, that's kind of a weird angle, right, for your handle, but. Got that big groove, but it feels quite comfortable. Quite comfortable in hand. I could definitely see doing some hacking, some hacking with this. Not gonna be a tool maybe I want to use all day long for you know shelter preparation or something, but you could definitely use it and definitely around camp too. So that's cool. So yeah, let's talk about Battle Box. Um, this is mission 16. I'll be getting the rest of the missions. I actually talked to them out at Blade Show, and um, there was just a mix-up, I think, in the shipping. Why well, I didn't get a couple before, but now we're back on track. So seem like really good guys. I did see Jack from Black Scout Survival over there um, doing a training session on how to make cordage for people gathered around. There were adults and kids. It was kind of cool to see him teach and uh, train on that. He might actually be giving away. It looked like paracord brace, paracord style bracelets, but made out of natural, uh, natural cordage. But anyhow, so... Um, so yeah, they're doing, I, I talked to uh, my friend, not a friend, maybe too strong a statement, a guy I know there who maybe we're becoming friends named Dave uh, over at BattleBox. He said they're doing well. They've been super successful. They're really excited about all the positive feedback. Uh, let's hear your feedback on this BattleBox. What do you think of this particular one? Do you like the gear? What would you change? What would you add? Um, if you're subscribed to BattleBox, let's hear what your experience has been so far. Have you been really happy with it? Happy with it 50% of the time, happy with it Happy with it 90% of the time, whatever it is, let's get your thoughts on it. I also want to ask you, um, how do you want these boxes reviewed? What's the most helpful thing for you? Just the unboxing and describing it? Um, do you want to pick one or two items and go out and test them and then come back and report in on them? Uh, yeah, I'd be interested to hear your feedback. Um, whatever's going to be most helpful to you, let's see if we can actually uh, put our heads together and figure out a way to, um, yeah, to help you guys as the viewers out, all right? So once again, Battle Box, uh, mission number 16 on land navigation. That's what we've been watching. And uh, leave those comments down below. Let's get the discussion started, all right? More videos coming soon. Take care.